I really would love to have a little pumpkin. Pumpkin's not a good idea. You bean plucker, you? I think that was a bad one. That'll do, pig. That will do. So this pumpkin is still growing like crazy, but it's so damaged, I just don't see it surviving long. Like, you just don't really survive that. Well, but, I mean, it's growing and keeps putting out these little things that oh look wait, like... Um, that looks like a real pump. I mean, that looks like a female flower, doesn't yeah. it? I, mean, I really hate cutting this thing because it, it, it was like it growing. Was growing. It's May 18th. We got to beat the rain. It's windy. It's looking gross in the sky. And you want to clean the garden. Yeah, I think this has been like one of the wettest springs we've ever had. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, the garden loves it. The tomatoes are not a fan. The, the tomatoes like it nice and hot. And... Look at me. <laughs> No, I meant turn the camera. I'm not cold. Give it five minutes. I'm not hot. Give it five minutes. <laughs> it's a perfect temperature. It must be 70... About 70. 73 degrees? Wait, wait. What, what are we doing today? Okay, so I need to trim this garden up a little bit. Um, for one thing, I've discovered that pumpkin's not a good idea. Mainly because... In this raised bed, all of the things are basically falling out and then snapping off. Okay. So even though they're still living and still growing, as soon as this thing gets heat, they're going to stress and all these things are going to die anyway. So, yeah, like I said, you ooh, see, you, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, flowers. I said, I said that yesterday. I heard you, but I didn't hear you. Because, yeah, that right there. That one's not going to yeah, live. Yeah, it's not going to live anyway. And there's no need to give fuel for something that's not going to live. Yeah. How do you take all the, the stuff you chop off to the woodchuck? It's a woodchuck! Watch him come back. Like crazy. I mean, look at this thing. I've... So, yeah, pumpkins are like something I really we, I know how to grow. We can grow pumpkins. It's just we, we learned the lesson. See, now this one is kind of high up in the air. So maybe this one will drape down without actually... Oh, I really, I really would love to have a little pumpkin. I mean, it's possible. Hurting itself. So yeah. do we just leave it and see? Maybe. But this one is coming up higher. It's coming off higher. Oh yeah, see? This right here. Yeah, like that thing was, yeah. See, like this one actually, in theory, has a pumpkin flower. Oh, oh, we didn't show them. Yeah, show them the roots. You want to touch it? That sounds like a trap. The roots. Still sounds like a trap. So these are the roots from all of the things that we're growing. So they're kind of air pruning themselves off right there. It's going to be the sweet potatoes and... The it's got to be the sweet potatoes and the potatoes that this, are This is actually roots. a volunteer. We didn't plant this. A volunteer this. potato there. Back. I'm pulling up this one sunflower because it was just... Not. Yeah. I told you that wasn't a good spot for it. Well, I had a lot of the pumpkins were going to be like cray-cray. Now, okay. the deal... The deal for... I am going to go ahead and trim off everything I plan on keeping for the season. And then the rest of it is just going to be letting it go let to it flower. Let it go flower. Yep. Okay. In fact, I probably need a bowl. Okay. What about the parsley and the basil? Are you I don't know do? yet, to be honest. Like, I'm kind of new to that stuff. And yes, I, I may be scalping this a little bit, but it's kind of choking out your tomato also. I mean, the good news is is that basil is the stinky one the to the, 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 the pests for the tomato don't like. You are scalping it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that may be all I do. Like for this, we may just leave it as is from now on, let the rest of it go. I trimmed your tomato up a little bit. Go ahead and move this clamp up a little bit. This one is all self-contained anyway, so I'm even less worried about this one. Yeah, because the only thing that's in there is companion plants. Yep. And that's just so that we can move it to another area if we need to. Now in this bed, which these I don't think matter as much, right? But you're just clipping what you know you want to use. Well, I don't know about uh, how well it's gonna work in the long term, but at least the woodchuck didn't come after you put up the, the little fence there. 
What you doing? I'm not killing a groundhog. Hey, I said hey, stop that. What you doing? <laughs> For now, it's just cheap fiberglass poles for like a dollar a piece and 100 feet of that cheap vinyl fence like you see at construction sites. So it's been very weathery. She may not like coming out in the weather. Yep, you know it's weathery when everywhere you step underneath the black tarp, there's mud prints. Okay, I cut it, you get to hang it off. Um, <laughs> that's, no. that's gonna take a lot of hanging. Yeah, is it gonna go on the side of the fridge like everything else? Uh, this one might have to go to the basement. There's a lot already on the fridge. Okay, time to thin some carrots. Wow. They're so tight, I don't know if I can even get in here to thin them. Well, just start with one. Just like making videos, you have to know when to cut the fluff. And he's cutting the fluff. This thing is so way over sewn. Who <laughs> did that? I did. Wait, those look like new glasses. Yes, they are. Can you see? Yes, I can see. Clearly now? I can see clearly now. Lorraine is gone? No, the rain ain't gone. Okay, that doesn't look much thinner. Yeah, I mean, they're really not grown enough to start really pulling at this point yet. Like, these are probably young and they should be, but they were really choking each other out, so it's better than it was. And we'll let them grow a little bit more, and then I'll thin another round later on. But you did get out a lot. Yeah. I mean, technically, Those these are young enough. Woodchuck. These are young enough, I could probably replant them somewhere. No, because root vegetables do not like to be replanted. Uh, you got a bowl. Ooh, ooh, we plucking beans? We plucking beans. You bean plucker, you? I've never plucked a bean before in my life. You plucked beans. You plucked beans last year. We're gonna have 10 beans. Well, I'm actually cutting some of the ones that could probably go a little longer. That way we might be able to get like one little, decent little mini meal out of it for you. Okay. I mean, technically, there's not really a written rule. You know, different people pull their beans at different times. Look, guys. I see something that's going to be a flower. Sad little harvest, but it's a harvest. It's enough for you for a snack. That'll do, pig. That will do. I don't even know what to do with fennel. <laughs> Too bad there's not a platform where you can watch videos about different plants and see how to harvest them. Uh, these carrots, I'm going to let them go. See, like all of these ones, so I attempted to fertilize that one this morning. Okay. All the rest of them, I have a feeling, are just going to fall off, which kind of has me thinking. No, don't. Just let them. If they're going to fall, they're going to fall. Well, if they fall, then they're rotten. But if I cut them off now, we could technically eat them. They may not be ripe enough to try to eat them. I mean, technically, we could do some parsley, but... I think they look okay. I don't know what they look like right before they go to flower, though. Yeah. But it does look like we're going to beat the rain. Yeah, that's probably all I'm going to do. I need to thin these out, but I'm just going to do that later. Oh, thin the zucchini? No, the uh, eggplant. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, like I've learned that lesson that eggplant takes a long time to germinate and grow. Definitely plant eggplant like in January next year. But I guess we need to look at the fennel and the parsley to see if it's time to trim those because it may be. Okay. But for now, I got a whole bunch of dill to get strung up. Okay. Now, we do have lots of tomatoes going on here. Okay. Good or bad, I can't remember. Oh, I don't think that's good. I think that was a bad one. I think that's a bad one. You better get that mother fluffer. Oh wait, that might be a lightning bug. Oh. That's a lightning bug. Okay. <laughs> scared me. That scared me at first. You can live, I think. I feel like some of those limbs need to be trimmed, though. So. That's kind of what I'm doing. Ooh. Not perfect, but way better than it was. Yep. Okay, the garden saga continues. If you'd like to see the rest of this video, click over here and you'll see how this whole process started over the last couple of years.